In this video, we are going to be looking at comparing um, different data sets, different populations. So let's look at this first example. It says two data sets contain an equal number of values. The double box and whisker plot represents the values in the data sets. So a quick refresher on box and whisker plots. Just remember that they are set up so basically this first point here is going to be the lowest value in the data set and then the next point where our box starts is Q1, the first quartile, followed by the median and the third quartile and then finally the last whisker out here is the maximum value. So these are a very easy way <clears throat> for us to be able to see the median of a data set, for us to see the interquartile range as well as the range and it helps us see kind of where most of our data is so the box will represent about 50 percent of our data the middle 50 percent and then each whisker will represent 25 percent of our data so with that out of the way let's compare these data sets using measures of center and measures of variation so if we look at data set a we can see that the median here is going to be 60 right we can see 60 is our median and for data set B 90 is our median so comparing our two data sets in terms of the measure of center data set B has a larger measure of center it is 90 compared to 60 for data set A and then we can look at the IQR the interquartile range right that's going to be Q3 minus Q1 so 80 minus 30 is going to give us an IQR of 50 for data set A. So again, remember that's the middle 50% of our data. So it's spread out by as much as 50 here. And then data set B, the IQR is only 20, 100 minus 80. So much less variation there. So next part says, which data set is more likely to contain a value of 95? So if we look at these two things, right, we can see again, 25% of our data is here in this first whisker, and then another 50% of our data is here in this box. So you'll notice in data set A, 75% of our values are less than 80. So only 25% of them are greater than 80. So that's a small chance of having a value of 95 compared to uh, data set B, right, 75% of our values here are greater than 80. So we can go ahead and assume, and then 50% of our values are greater than 90. So it's much more likely that data set B will have a value of 95 here. Finally, we get to question C, which says, which data set is more likely to contain a value that differs from the center by at least 30? And so if we're looking at this one again, the IQR, the interquartile range for data set A is 50. This is a big range between our values and the overall range as well is 110. This is a much larger range and a much larger interquartile range. So it is more likely that a value will be farther away from our median by at least 30. Now in this next example we're going to look at this one it says the double dot plot shows two data sets. Express the difference in the measures of center as a multiple of the measure of variation. So this all sounds a little bit confusing but what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean for each of these. Okay now the reason we're going to go with mean over median is because um, our data here is symmetric, right? It's not skewed left or skewed right, so there's not a lot of big outliers. So a mean will be a good calculation for us to use. So for data set A and data set B, rather symmetric data, so we will use the mean. So first thing we'll do is calculate the mean. So for, we'll start with data set A, right? You can see this would be 20 plus 30 plus 30 plus 40 plus 40 plus 50, plus 50, plus 50, plus 60, plus 60, plus 60, plus 70, plus 80, plus 80, plus 90, which would give us a total of 810. 
and we have a total of 15 values. That gives us a mean of 54. Okay, and then if we want to find our mean absolute deviation, which will be our measure of variation here, that would be finding how far away each of these values is from our mean. So this would be 34, this would be 24, 24, 14, 14, 4, 4, 4, 6, 6, 6, 16, 26, 26, and 36. So we would take all of those values, add them together, and that gives us 244, and we divide that by 15. So our mean absolute deviation is about 16. So again, that's telling us on average our data is about 16 away from the mean. Now we're going to look at data set B. So starting with adding these values, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 40 plus 40 plus 50 plus 60 plus 60 for our mean gives us 420 and we divide that by 15 to give us a mean of 28. And then we find the mean absolute deviation. So again, these three are all 28 away from the mean. So 28 plus 28 plus 28 plus 18 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 12 plus 12 plus 22 plus 32 plus 32 gives us a total of 236. And we divide that by 15 and get a mean absolute deviation also of about 16. So now in terms of comparing um, the measures of center as a multiple of the measure of variation, basically we're going to compare the means as a multiple of the mean absolute deviation. So in other words, we're going to look at the difference here. So our data set A has a mean of 54, data set B has a mean of 28. The difference between those, 54 minus 28, is 26, and we'll divide that by our mean absolute deviation, which is 16, and we get about 1.6. So the difference in the means is about 1.6 times the mean absolute deviation.